what up good people welcome back to another vlog Take the next left onto Barberry Avenue. And you guys are gonna come hang out with us while we do some pickups for some errands and head to the gum range. And then tomorrow is meal prep day. So come along with us. All right, so we are headed to Kroger to do a grocery pickup, then Target or pick up as well not going inside and then we have to go into Home Depot for some screws and some spray paint to finish off the garage you guys will see what we're doing to the garage soon whenever that's finished probably not this week probably next week because the floors since I underestimate things so much, the floors are probably going to be. Whoa. Um, a whole weekend project in itself. And it might go into the week because they need to be cleaned and things need to be scraped off. And that's just the whole thing. But stay tuned for that video. So that was an unexpected stop, but Dre just got popped, crackled, and rolled. Yes. How you feel? Brand new. <laughs> Cause you old. Uh, I feel younger than you now. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the home of the deep pot. Now say what you just said again. You're making me lose track. You can't put me on the spot like that. You own the spot. Can't put me on the spot like that. Now what's now your just, idea with this? This is gonna hold the two by four on the ceiling. Is it wide enough? Look wide enough to me, let's see. So I already got this one bolted into the stud, but if I put this here, into the stud, into the stud, to support it. So a lot of second bolts. Maybe it won't come out. It shouldn't come out ever. That's the idea. Okay.
man, this zombie just ate us alive. <laughs> this oh, zombie just. I need, a, I need a laser. This zombie just ate us alive. I hit nothing. You didn't hit nothing. Nothing. Oh man. Oh, oh baby. My heart's beating fast. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, I, I gotta get this down, y'all. I'm gonna get it together. I need practice. Dre got the juice. y'all that was something really something so we see who needs to be carrying during the apocalypse um but it's needed we're gonna have to come back more often a whole lot more often like every weekend they have classes here to sign up for and um but it doesn't break down cleaning which i know is important but they give you she said there are three levels there and it's like basic just handling it and then a little bit more advanced and then on to defensive shooting and i i want to take advantage of that we're gonna have to schedule it for a weekend mm -hmm. and um, come back and make it work. Cause I haven't shot a gun since 2010. And um, I need to, that's it. I just, I just really, really need to, that's it. This part is more important more important than getting the bug out bag ready which we're working on but this part definitely needs to be incorporated continuously and very frequently bug out bag but you just got eaten by a zombie you got all the supplies but that's it that's it yeah so not that we're hoping for uh, the zombie situation, but um, just being ready for whatever. I'm not even gonna go into the whole, uh, I ain't gonna go into all of that. We just need to be prepared. Do you feel prepared? Mm -hmm. You do? But I don't, I'm not prepared. And if we a team, how you feel prepared? You can't be the only one handling the peace. Most great teams have somebody carrying the weight. You know, you gotta... No, no, no. Most great teams do not have somebody, somebody carrying the weight. Somebody's carrying the weight, you know. No, that's not how that goes. Not everybody can be just great. You know? 
Oh it's like, God. It's like, you know, Batman, Robin. But Robin still was with him shooting in the gym. Sidekick, though. He wasn't as great. Just. Sir, I let off all them shots and didn't hit nothing. You hit all the zombies around the one that I hit. He was like, support. There you go. Background music. Sidekick. Sidekick. Hit the side zombies. There you go. You're real funny. You know that? <laughs> you just crack your damn self up, huh? Anyway, y'all. Um, I think that's it for today. You want to go get some food? We were supposed to be going back to get the kids to go look at houses and stuff. But I'm not really feeling that. It's 622. I really just want to go home. And do more stuff to the garage and eat something i want some pasta i want some really good pasta we've been vegetarian lately just like officially vegetarian i can't even claim vegan anymore i can't I haven't eaten any meat i don't plan on eating meat i don't even like the thought of having meat personally but we've been going in on some cheese You've been going in, aren't you? He found home run in pieces in Publix and won't stop buying them. The greasy, cheesy mess that it is, it's still very much so yummy. It's home run in. But it doesn't, I didn't like home run in when we was in Chicago. That was the first thing I got when I flew back to Chicago. So, yeah. But no more Monday, right? Are mm -hmm. we going back vegan Monday? Huh? Monday, we're supposed to have the garage done. And if not completely done, like the floors. But operational. So we can start getting in these workouts. Because, I mean, you could shoot. You could have your bug out bag. But if you can't run, you out of breath. And you just give up because your legs small. You can't move. <laughs> Then what is the point of it all? You better be really good at hide and seek. I'm not good at hide and seek. Oh, well, and I'm you, not good at running. My defense mechanism is just to hit the you floor. You can't run. You can't hide. Hit the floor. <laughs> just hit the floor you and are, ball up. You are dinner. I am dinner, but I don't want to be dinner. <laughs> I don't want to be dinner. So, uh, fitness is important. That's what the whole garage situation, wellness, right? 2021 was supposed to be about wellness anyway. We a little late. Catching the tail end of the year. I feel well. Do you? Yep. You gonna sit here alive? I feel well. Do you? I just left the chiropractor. I had home run in pizza. Shh. I feel well. Okay. How do you feel? Um. See? Yeah. yeah. No, I could I could learn how to run. <laughs> I can run. I could learn how to run. Ooh, those little legs. Yeah. My legs are small and, and fluffy. So. <laughs> I need to learn how to move them quickly. Okay, um, but yeah, so are we going to get something to eat? Mm-hmm. Where? I don't know. There's been a fight all morning. I don't care, actually. If you just throw out a place, then I would be okay with it. Popeyes. Dude, what you are said, you getting so, from Popeyes? So you just said throw out a place. I'm not eating meat. Be specific. Mm. Okay, throw out a place where we can get something vegan or vegetarian. Is that specific enough? Go to V Green. V Green is all the way in Duluth. I don't feel like driving all the way up. Are you driving? You like low key limiting me in your head, talking about just throw out a place I'm okay with it. I'm okay with going there, but I'm not driving there. Yeah, you driving. I don't want to drive to Duluth. I don't want to. It's too far. I don't want to. Okay, pick a place that's vegan. 
<laughs> Vegetary. <laughs> That's gonna take me 15 minutes to get there. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't much. <laughs> Go to Kroger, man. <laughs> we can from Kroger. <laughs> Go to Publix. Why? Where you getting from Publix? Food to eat. What kind of food? We just discussed this home run in thing. All right, you can get another one, but then Monday we got to cut it off, right? No, I'm going to eat it. You can't eat it. The support. Hmm? The support is severely lacking. How? Why are you eating it? You going to bring it in the house and I'm going to smell it and see it? You gotta let me get my my fitness habit in first. That's teaching, so I can build. That's that's helping teaching you self control. You smell it and can't get it. You know what? Turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. What up, good people? Happy Sunday. I am about to meal prep. I am cooking some sloppy joe, some stir fry and quinoa, roasted vegetables and quinoa, a uh, big thing of mashed potatoes for Skylar, and there was one more. I don't remember. I don't remember, but it was something else because it was four of them plus the mashed potatoes. That's the dishwasher you hear in the background. Don't mind that. Last week or the week before last, we meal prepped together and it went by quicker, but it was pure chaos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it by myself and see how I feel about it. I do the prepping and all that other stuff, so we'll see. But come along with me.
thought about. I've never cut a zucchini. Do you keep the skin on? I'm gonna take the skin off. Alexa, do you take the skin off the zucchini to cook it? She did not ask my question. Alexa, how do you cook a zucchini? Here's a video to show you. I think we'll take this fan off. Oh, maybe it's going to get right to the point. He is definitely keeping his skin
finally finished. I don't know what time I started, but it is 7.35 p.m. Okay, so first meal, we got the barbecue sliders and sweet potato home fries. Second meal, we got quinoa and teriyaki stir fry. Third meal, we got quinoa and roasted vegetables. The roasted vegetables are Brussels sprouts, okra, zucchini, and mushrooms. This big old pot here is sloppy joe. I'm not separating that because we're just going to scoop it out the pot, put it on the bun, all that great stuff. And then a big old bowl of mashed taters or cider and tot because they like to eat them throughout the week for like lunch and all that great stuff. But everybody has a serving. I am done. I even got a little leftovers over here of the quinoa. It's steamed. You can't see it. It's a few more sliders and some more sweet potato home fries. What is this? Dre made some biscuits this morning. That's not part of the situation. But he did make some peach cobbler. Right? And he ate that whole pan himself. <laughs> so... We got some peach cobbler. I think I'm going to pick a meal to eat. I feel like doing some sliders and some quinoa. So I think I'm going to do that. But I'm done, y'all. And that's it. The girls are back here playing. Let's see a little concoction. That's what I got going on. Put the little sprinkler thing. And hello, and the trampoline, and she has the most fun with it like that. It's like a bouncing water park. <laughs> Ty is probably on the phone. Is are you on the phone? Is your phone in your bonnet? Okay, so that's happening. But somehow it has water and grass in it, so yeah. There's that. Where? Hey, Todd. Take that box and push it over so it's not getting wet, please. So I'm going to leave that out there. I'll probably paint it tomorrow. Just let it sit overnight and be able to wipe it down and paint it. Let's go see what Mr. Jones is doing. Need that. You need that. And George, you need that. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, what is Mr. Jones doing? Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. Stuff for the garage. All right, good people. It's dark in the backyard. Mr. Jones, I can't see you. Wave your hand. <laughs> no, wave it higher. <laughs> no, can't see at all. I don't want to turn any lights on back here because Georgia bugs. But I realized I didn't tell y'all good night. And thanks for hanging out with us this weekend. Appreciate you. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and tell me some good down there in the comments. How did you spend your August 8th? Lionscape. But we ain't going to talk about all that. Are we going to talk about all that? If y'all want to talk about all that. In the comments. Bye.